All right, y'all. So, hey, what's up? Good morning. It's Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know. It's one of those days. Um, been just scrolling through YouTube, and I've been seeing a lot of people say that the Wells turned down the Cold Case Foundation. Now, my thing on that is, I don't blame them. As much as I want Summer Pound and this nightmare to be over with, I don't blame them. One, Chris M. That's all I should say. He is not going to be a guarantee that he would not be on the case on that team that searches for Summer or whatever they're going to do. Right? Now, Chris M. is the one that started all of this circus bullcrap with Summer's case. He is to blame for it all. I'm not saying the only blame. I'm just saying he is to blame for it all turning out the way it has. Honestly. I'm not saying he is the only one to blame. Because we all know they should have stayed off YouTube. They should have really never... I mean, even... If you come to YouTube, don't sit there and run your mouth about another person. Just get on there, talk about your daughter, get off. That, that's the way I look at it. Talk about summer, only summer, get off. But they couldn't do that. They had to go on and on and on. At this point, at this point, we are going into May. Which is going to put us at 23 months with no, nothing. No nothing. It, it, it's disturbing. It's terrible. A seven-year-old little girl is missing And y'all are more worried about what her parents are doing than where the hell she's at here these days. I still say, regardless, even if they would have said yes to the cold case, they still have to get local law enforcement's okay. Because you cannot... Go into another dog's territory and sniff around without that okay. That's for any agency. Even when FBI goes to town the first place they go to is to the sheriff's office. To the police station, to the police chief, to the captain, whoever. They don't just take the case and go about do their business. No, they can't do that. They can't. You have to have local law enforcement okay. Whoever is running the show. Ronnie Lawson is not going to allow that. You guys know this. So why even sit there and, and put it all on Don and Candace that they don't want him there? I wouldn't want Chris M there either. Not after all the drama and shit he's thrown up their way. I mean, I'm not even trying to stick up for them today at all by no means. I'm literally saying, cold case needs to go through the law, the, the local law enforcement before they even go to Candace and Don. They needed to go get that okay before they got the other okay. Because whether or not the parents say yes, it's still up to the law. Do y'all even know the law? I know some of y'all have been arrested numerous times. Come on now. Come on. You have to know the law. Jesus Christ. Man. Anyway. Sorry. I've been telling y'all for oh, almost two years now. I get a migraine over this case. I'm getting a migraine over this case. So my thing is. Don't be bashing them because... They don't want the one person that really screwed them up 
to have anything more to do with their case than he already has. I wouldn't even put my trust in Chris M. Not for nothing. I mean, look at his background and that should tell you enough. I don't care what foundation he belongs to. He shouldn't even be part of that foundation. I think... I think... I think... <laughs> I think Cold Case Foundation needs to find somebody else to take his spot. He shouldn't even have a spot there. Grant you, he has years and years of military uh, law enforcement service. But, I'm sorry... He should have been gone before he was. You know, it's pretty bad when you're told to leave, to quit. Otherwise, they're going to fire you and out you. And that's exactly what they would have done. They would have done a press conference of why he got fired. He got fired because he put innocent people in jail. I'm sorry. I'm just really irritated with this Cold Case Foundation, y'all. Like, everybody's like, oh, I'd be doing this and I'd be doing that. And I wouldn't do this and I wouldn't do that like they are. Damn it. I've said this a hundred times. You want to know how the hell you're going to act. I don't care what y'all say. You can say to that shit till you're blue in the face. But God forbid this shit ever really happened to you. You can't say you're going to do this and do that. You don't know until it, it does happen. You don't know what you would do until it happened. Period. But on that note... <coughs> Excuse me. Mmm... <coughs> I've got that lung appointment coming up, so pray for me, guys. Um, but thing thing is, I need to change that one. Um, I am going live today at. Oh shit! It was supposed to be changed at um. 10 30 guys if they do end up having a two hour delay today then I will just re redo the time and go just before they go live um we're gonna do the rest watch some do the uh Letitia Stout trial Stream it today. It is the 15th. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, I need to do that one first. There we go. I don't know why it didn't save yesterday. Alright, so, yep. Just reach out. Like, think about what you guys say before you guys actually say it. Oh, they're guilty. They know what happened. It may be so. If they are guilty, they'll eventually get caught. And have no choice but to tell us where someone is. I personally don't think they're guilty of anything other than... Being dumbasses on YouTube. But that's me, in my opinion. And I was always told opinions are like assholes and everybody's got one. So, with that being said, I want y'all all to have a great day. Comment below. Like, sub, share, if you feel. Um, and don't forget, check out my live at 10.30 a.m. today. And with I love y'all. I love your faces. Be kind. It takes less muscles to smile than it does to frown. You never know what your smile will do to somebody's day. For somebody's day. 
I love y'all.